Well, how y'all doing? It's Dan. I want to welcome everyone to my home in the sticks. Lord of mercy, wherever you're at in the world, I hope you're having a good day, and I hope everything is going good with you. Before we get started on today's video, I'm always going to say that if you are new to the channel, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of mercy. Dan referee, where have you been for the last four months? Well, that's what we're going to do today. We're showing off going to have a gum bumping session. I'm going to let you know what's going on, what has transpired, what has changed, and uh, just what's going on with old Dan over here at the Home of the Sticks. So give me a second, and that's what we fit in the dues. All right then, Lord of mercy, Dan referee, where have you been for the last four months? Well, what I'm gonna tell you is, over in East Central Mississippi, a few things have changed, and it was almost two problems. Well, I'm not gonna call them problems. Let's call them concerns. But these two concerns actually roll into each other, and they, they play into each other hand in hand, if you will. First being is, and I'm gonna use the word uh, stress. So for uh, you and y'all that watch the Home and the Sticks channel, that have followed the Home and the Sticks channel, that may be creators uh, yourselves, you'll know what I'm talking about, and just in general, stress in life. What I'm gonna say about the stress is, uh, I, I went, I've been on YouTube, uh, I don't know, seven, eight years now, and I went from creating a video uh, seven days a week or one video every day, uh, 365 days a year, to just being, being able to do uh, just a few videos a week or maybe one video a week. And that had a lot to do with uh, work. I actually uh, changed... Uh, jobs. When I say stress, uh, as a creator, I was constantly thinking and wondering and keeping myself up at night, trying to figure out uh, ways to put out content where I could share what I'm doing over here in a timely manner. But with work, it was just no way that I could possibly do it. I would get up when it was dark and I'd get home when it was dark. So it was almost impossible to get any content uploaded. And that weighed real heavy on me because I have a lot of you and y'all that enjoy uh, the Home of the Sticks channel, but I wasn't able to put out the content uh, that I said I was or that I said I was going to try to do. And that weighed really, really heavy on me and stress uh, came into play. And I know that it was stress because I wasn't really sleeping very much and I was constantly uh, worrying about the channel. And I didn't have any health changes or anything like that. Well, stress on a person, has it's going to be a health thing. But it wasn't something that was, in my opinion, going to be detrimental uh, to my health. I knew that I was, I was stressing out because I, was, I was, wasn't as active as I normally am. Uh, I, I come home from work. I'd try to eat a little something, watch a few minutes of TV, and then I'd just go to sleep. And that was something that was just reoccurring every day. And I said to myself, self, you, you're gonna have to unplug from the digital world, from YouTube, you're just gonna have to unplug from it and leave it alone. And that's what I did. I figured that was gonna be the best for me and the best way for me to get my head back into the game and make sure that my compass is, is pointing true north, if you will. So uh, stress was starting to set in with old Dan uh, with, and it with, had to do with the channel, being able to come up with ways to do a video. And I said seven, eight years ago that old Dan was never gonna just do a video just to put out a video. And I haven't done that, I haven't done that till this day. The videos that I, that I do put out is gonna be something that I think is gonna be useful to you and y'all. And uh, be it gardening or the, D, the DUI stuff, the do-it-yourself stuff, I, I said that's the type of uh, content that I wanted to, to put out. 
not just something just to put it out just so I could have a video out just so I could put it up on YouTube. I definitely wasn't going to do that and never have and I never will. Now, the second thing we're going to roll into is uh, my job. Uh, you and y'all know that I, I am a police officer. I was a police officer. Actually, I am still a police officer. But I worked in uh, my hometown of Philadelphia, Mississippi for 17 years as a police officer with the Philadelphia Police Department. I stopped working for the police department uh, probably two years ago and I said to myself self again that I was going to get out of law enforcement uh, just period after 31 years of doing it eh, I figured maybe it was time just to leave it alone take a break and just uh, kind of do something uh, less stressful dangerous and move into something a little bit more quieter if you will so I actually started, I uh, forgot a job at the Neshoba County Co-op, and I'm here to tell you, it's uh, a place that I truly enjoyed working. It was around, I worked with a bunch of great people, and I was doing something that I enjoyed doing. Selling feed, uh, blending fertilizer, working with customers, working a counter, I, I enjoyed that. But after, after a few years, I think I was there. Well, I'm actually part-time over there. I'm no longer full-time at the co-op. I'm part-time, and it's hard even trying to do part-time work because of what I'm fitting to tell you next. But I had a good friend come in, uh, and he, he looked at me, and he was like, Dan, well, how come you still working at the co-op? Not in a bad way, but he knew that I had X amount of years invested in law enforcement. He was like, Dan, you need to go on and get back into law enforcement, finish out your seven to eight years, and get your state retirement. And that was just something that I never really thought about or really dawned on me till that day. I was like, well, you know, you're right. So I moved into this. So, uh, the sheriff of Leak County, Mississippi, offered old Dan a job, and it was just something that I could not pass up. Uh, Leak County Sheriff's Office is a world-class agency. I'm just going to say a world-class agency. Bunch of good guys that work there. I know 90% of them uh, prior to working there, and it's, it's a good organization, and the sheriff is just a jam up guy and somebody that I wanted to work for so that's what I did and I have been working there since now I'm gonna tell you it's uh, you know it's a 12-hour shift it's something that I had to get reaccustomed to which kind of slaps the last thing that we talked about in the face stress thinking about something that I shouldn't have been I shouldn't be thinking about or thinking about something that doesn't have to do with my job, which means that I'm not focused on my job um, or, or what I'm supposed to be doing. And those two don't go hand in hand because as law enforcement, your mind has to be in the game. You have to be thinking about what's going on right then and there and not thinking about, dang, what kind of YouTube video can I be making? Can't do that. So that those two kind of played hand in hand with each other the stress was wearing me down but it was also transferring or i'm not going to say transferred over to my new job i'm going to say that i knew that i didn't need to be thinking about what youtube what kind of video i needed to create while i was working because i have a tremendous responsibility doing what i do to myself to my partner and to the, the citizens of Lee County. So, yeah, I had to unplug, and I did. Four months worth, and, you know, it just, it is what it is. I hope uh, you and y'all understand, and I, I thank uh, everyone that has reached out to me uh, via email, text messages, uh, just may see me in time, like, damn, what's going on? You know, what's, what's going on with the channel? You still you know you still youtubing are you still doing the homeless sticks and in short um yes I, I still am 
but I had to get away for a little while, uh, get my mind back in the game, get uh, get my mind wrapped around uh, going back to a 12-hour shift and being able to uh, do my job the best that I can without having to worry about anything else, if that makes sense. So what are the plans for the Home and the Sticks channel? Uh, now that I am, uh, now that my, my compass is pointing uh, true north, I'm gonna say that I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna try to work in videos on my off days because I've, I've kind of figured out a bunch of stuff now. I know uh, when I need to go to sleep and when I need to get up. Uh, so I have those internal mechanisms uh, up to par. I don't know, I don't even know if that makes sense. But anyways, I'm gonna try to get uh, my video, I'm trying to get uh, my content, my videos um, together and uploaded on my days off so I could share what I have going on over here at the Home of the Sticks and it's always gonna be something over here. It's just always something. But there's a lot of things that I have uh, gotten away from because I just, I didn't have much time to do it. Uh, gardening is going to be sparse uh, this season because I just I don't have the time to commit to it uh, mainly because work but I do know that I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the raised beds going I got the veggie pod I'm gonna keep it going I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, the acre or acre and a half of purple hole peas uh, this year I, I don't know, just gonna have to see how that works. Um, possum butt still comes over on the weekends like he normally does, and he was one of the main ones. Like, last time you put out a video. But, uh, and Angel's asked me the same thing. She's like, damn, are you still doing home and stick videos? So <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's something I need to get, get back to because it's something that I truly, truly enjoy doing, and you know, I'm going to share what I do with you and y'all. So, you know. But, again, I just had to take a little break. But now the break is over. My game face is back on. And we're just going to we're gonna put out the videos when we can put them out. And hopefully it's, you know, once or twice a week. And we're just going to gonna stick with that game plan. Well, all right. That's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. Lord of mercy, I had to give an explanation to my four-month hiatus. But, you know, it is what it is. We're good to go. And we're going to get trucking with the channel again and keep uh, everybody up to speed as to what's going on over here at the Home of the Sticks because you know I like to share. Well, all right. If you like this video, go and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Home of the Sticks channel, Lord of mercy. Y'all need to come over here and give old Dan a look because I'm always doing stuff like taking a break every now and then. With that being said, you know it's coming. Dan Reference show enough. Always gonna say it. Don't let nobody doubt your shine. And I mean nobody. You show sure enough to get your shine on, get your smile on. Be you. It's important. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.